Hey, what is up everybody? In today's video, I got a pile of games here that I bought from a yard sale that I went to this past week. So, um, somebody that I know told me that there would be a yard sale and um, I ended up going. Um, apparently, it looked like uh, a lot of other people got the same idea, especially in regards to the games because on the flyer it did say that there would be games as low as like a dollar or something um so i ended up going but um that was on only after did i did i arrive that i found out um somebody had already bought all the switch games fortunately there were still a bunch of games left so um, i ended up picking about five games would have been a few more but i already had those other games i'll, I'll be honest i was actually pretty hesitant on getting the games that you see here um, since I do actually have them in some capacity. So uh, let's actually go over them. The more, uh, oh yeah, I paid 25 bucks for all this, by the way. So basically five bucks a piece. Uh, first one is actually a three pack. It's a three in one. So we have Journeys, so we have Journey Collector's Edition, uh, specifically the European copy, but thankfully it does work on, um, the PS4 is region free, so that's not a problem. Although your save file does not transfer over. So, um, unfortunately, so I already have a save file for, for the North American version I, that I got. Um, but unfortunately you cannot use that in the European version. So, um, keep that in mind when you're, whenever you're buying games from other regions. But in any, in any case, um, so this is the, uh, physical collector's edition, which also, which in addition to journey also comes with flow and flower as well, uh, which is neat. I mean, again, five bucks, it's uh, really, and plus this is like the only way you can get those other two games physically, all, or actually no, this is the only way to get the game, all three games physically as far as I can tell. So on the back it says one player, network players, one to two, 3.8 gigabytes maximum, 1080p, DualShock 4. I actually started playing Journey recently, it's actually pretty good. Um, next up, we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, I'll be honest, I was really hesitant on getting this. A bit hesitant because, of course, um, Game Pass and PS Plus exist. So, uh, it, it, if it isn't already there, I can probably get it there at some point. Not to mention other services like Prime Gaming, um, which is actually giving out Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League for free in a couple of days in, on the 16th, which is neat. So... Yeah, when it comes to Ubisoft games, I'm very hesitant because um, either it makes its way onto some sort of subscription service or they straight up just make it for free. I mean, in fact, I actually got Assassin's Creed Origins for free um, on Uplay. I can't even, I don't quite remember where exactly I got it for free. I think Prime Gaming, but um, the person who was having this yard sale actually had origins as well on ps4 but i opted not to buy it because like i said i already got it i don't need it as for odyssey itself now, now in addition to the aforementioned reason i also um was contemplating getting just I've, i was already contemplating getting the digital um ultimate edition ultimate edition of the game uh on xbox because you also get assassin's creed 3 and uh, assassin's creed 3 liberation for free Oh, sorry. Assassin's Creed. If you buy this, the Ultimate Edition or the Season Pass for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you get Assassin's Creed Three Remastered for free, as long, uh, along with Assassin's Creed Liberation HD as well. So that's like three games in one for the price of one, with all the DLC for Odyssey. Unfortunately, um, when it comes to the physical edition, like at best, I think it's. At, yeah, at best you just have the base game. Like, there's no like game of the year edition or ultimate edition that exists physically, which is rather unfortunate. Because um, you know it'd be nice to actually you know load up this game one day in the future and not have to worry about that sort of thing. But oh well. Oh jeez, ah, forgot to put the game in properly. Oh yeah, it also has a code here for a bonus mission, but unfortunately the code's already expired. I don't even know if. Yeah, I don't even know if this mission is, like, uh, I don't even, see, I, this is one thing I really don't like about Ubisoft games, they always have, like, this bonus mission nonsense, and it makes it very difficult to pick which version of the game to play. 
because you never know whether that content is still uh, locked to that original platform or not. Uh, moving on, we have Shadow of the Colossus on PS4. This is a remake of a PS2 game, which in of itself got remastered on PS3. Uh, I haven't played this, any version of the game, I should say, but I've heard that this is considered one of the best games ever, especially on PS2. Like, this thing was brought, this thing ran at a really poor frame rate, and yet uh, people still really enjoyed it. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Let's look on the back. Uh, 14 gigabytes minimum. PS4 Pro Enhance. Oh, yeah. Done by Bluepoint. Yeah. That's, yeah. Bluepoint are known for making quality products. Oh, and before I forget, yeah. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This game is huge. Like, in addition to the 50 gigabytes it says on the back, you also have like a 34 gigabyte patch as well. So keep that in mind. Okay. So that's all the PS4 games I got. Uh, next up, we have a Wii U game. Minecraft Wii U Edition. Now, I'll be honest, I, I actually did not need to buy this at all. I really didn't. Um, really, the only reason I got this was um, just, f just you know, for the sake of my Wii U collection. I mean, I mean, I can literally just play Minecraft literally on any other platform. In fact, I have the, I have access to like the PS3 version of the game as well. But, but much, but one thing that both the Wii U and PS3 version have in common is that. Um, they're, ba they're, ba they're basically discontinued versions of the game, so they don't get any of the new patches. They're, they're legacy versions. But, sorry. So they, get, they don't get any new patches. What you get on disc and after, the, after patching the game, after downloading a patch for this, is what you get. Like, there's no, it has none of the new stuff, especially since, the Wii, especially since they shut down like, the Wii U eShop, so you can't even get any... Um, of the downloadable stuff anymore or 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 use any online features nintendo network just got shut down last year but hey you got the super mario mashup pack which is neat i guess it, it is such a shame that they released this so late in the wii u's life cycle this came out in 20 uh yeah 2016 like that was such an odd year to pick like this was right before the the switch came out too so I can't help but wonder why not why wait so long to put it out on Wii U or 3DS for that matter. That that version came out like after the Switch version, which was completely redundant. And then finally we get to uh, this one, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2. Um, I already have this for the Wii, but I'm aware that the 360 version is a bit different. Slight is a bit different. Um, not as different as uh, the first game, where that game was two completely different versions, two completely different games that just shared the same title. Uh, this one is much uh, closer in uh, closer in, um, I guess, in scope, for lack of a better word, with one another. They're like I guess it's basically just a remaster, a, an H, uh, just the Wii version, but in HD, I guess. I haven't yet actually played this yet, so I couldn't tell you. But um, yeah, this was apparently a disappointing sequel. And if you know Star Wars, you know that the number three is often a bit of a curse when it comes, especially when it comes to the video games or even movies. Um, so of course, you know, battle uh, the original Battlefront games. They, there was a, supposed to be a third entry, but that got canceled. They never made Battle EA ended up not doing Battlefront three. Um, and of course we have Forced Unleashed, um, which never got a third entry. Uh, what else was there? Uh, there was something else I forgot. I'm forgetting something else. Mm, oh yeah, Coat, yeah, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, that, oh, that never got a third entry. And of course the, we of course ha have the movies, uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker apparently was not a very good movie from what I've heard. Oh yes, and uh, oh yes, it's also worth mentioning. Uh, this was done by Lucas Arts, which no longer exists. Although Disney has been going back and uh, allowing uh, companies such as Aspire to uh, port their games to new platforms, they actually brought over the Wii version of the Force Unleashed, uh, the first Force Unleashed game, uh, to Nintendo Switch. Though I am curious as to whether they're going to bring that version over to other platforms or just keep it Switch exclusive. They've been kind of a bit weird about that. So some of the uh, Xbox, the Xbox, a good chunk of the Xbox 
um, Star Wars games, original Xbox that is, have been brought over through backwards compatibility, but then they they went out of their way to actually port the game, those games, from the sixth and seventh gen era to Switch and PS4. And to varying degrees of success. But yeah, oh, yeah, um, this game is actually backwards compatible on uh, the Xbox One and Series console. Uh, I actually had issues, with th had issues with this disc, so I tried to install it onto the Xbox 360 hard drive. Uh, it would not install, unfortunately. The disc seems to have been scra seems to be uh, scratched up. But thankfully, um, I managed to put it inside my Xbox One. Sorry, sorry, my Xbox One X. And um, since when it comes to backwards compatibility on Xbox One and Series X, uh, the way it works is that the disc is basically just a uh, is just a physical license. So it's not actually reading off the disc. It's, if, it, if it acknowledges that is the game in question, it'll download a, a, com a version of the game that has been uh, made to... that has been um, made to work on the new console. So, so keep that in mind. Even if, you're, if any of your Xbox 360 games are having issues on your original, on original hardware. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Um, you know, for twenty-five bucks, I'd say I got myself a really good deal. Um, even though, even though I did not necessarily need some of these games, since, like I said, um, I already have them through other other means. Um, it's still nice to have a physical collection. You know, you get to actually see the games that you have right in front of your eyes, and not on a screen that says that you have it. Um, but. Uh, but of course, um, as things are going, we are headed more in a digital direction. So um, I would say cherish the physical games while you have, while you still have them, because they're going to be gone forever eventually. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. You know, like, comment, and subscribe as always, and I will see you next time.